Hey guys, welcome back. So today, we're gonna talk about a really cool tool that you can use if you're a guitar player or a bass player. Actually, I've never tried it with bass, but maybe we could try it today. So this is this little contraption here called an Ebo. This is an Ebo. So this Ebo is pretty cool. You get some really cool sounds out of this thing, but it works best when you're using an electric guitar. I have used it on an acoustic. I'll show you what that sounds like. I've never used it on a bass. It's gonna be kind of cool to try it out. Got some basses here I can use. This is a handy tool for when you wanna do really cool, almost spacey sounds. I mean, there's just so much you can do with this. It's one of my favorite things. Once I discovered this, I was able to create so much just using this. Let's check it out, see what it does. Those of you that may or may not be familiar, right now, currently, with my Gibson Les... That's what happens when you have wires that... Probably replace it. Should probably replace that. Don't need that crap. Much better. So real quick, just to kind of let you know my setup right now. Gibson Les Paul. Coffee and my Line 6 Firehawk FX. It's a beautiful effects pedal. It can make you do so much. It saves you the trouble of having to mic up an amp in the studio. Even though I still do mic up amps in the studio, if I want to be lazy, I'll use the Firehawk. Firehawk hooks up through Bluetooth using an iPad or a phone. And it has all kinds of really cool parameters that you can mess with. That's a whole video on its own, plus I have a PV half stack. So this video is not about the half stack, not about the Line 6 Firehawk, not about this beauty. It's all about this guy, the Ebo. Before the Ebo came about, you know, you, you gotta acquire some skill in order to truly appreciate it, at least in my opinion. You know, one thing that I got really good at over the years is being able to pick really, really fast. I'm gonna do that for you without distortion on, so you can hear the pin. That takes years and years of practice of being able to pick that fast. That's something that kind of comes with, when I was younger, I used to do a lot of guitar solos. Now I couldn't do a guitar solo to save my life. When I got good at guitar solos, I got good at picking really fast. And so later on in life, I would use that kind of picking to almost mimic the sound of like, let's say like a cello or an instrument that it uses a bow right? I have seen bands use a bow on guitars like Sigur Rose, Sigur Ross, I don't know how you pronounce it, one of my favorite bands ever. The singer will use an actual bow, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. It's really cool, but uh, that in itself is something that I don't think I've ever done. Maybe I have. But anyhow, when you have an e-bow or an electronic bow, you don't have to worry about those. What I use that Though that picking for is, you know, just beautiful things like When you do something like that over a bunch of music, bass, 
other guitars. You can make some really beautiful sounds. With the combination of that skill, your guitar skills, and an Ebo, you can do some other really, really cool things. Let me show you. So if you look right here, in between these two, I guess you wanna call them like humps, you would fit the string right here. Now what that does is it hugs the string. And when it hugs the string, it will vibrate it, making some really cool sounds. When you turn on the Ebo, it lights up like that. So there's a little switch right here. You either go this way or you go that way. Let's see what this baby does. When it's turned off, I put it on the string. Nothing. You'll notice I have delay on my guitar. I just put the delay just because it gives it an even smoother sound when you're utilizing this or more of like a spacey sound to it. Now, turn it on. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> Cool, huh? Now let's switch it to the other side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but with the switch up. Pretty cool, huh? So essentially all it does is it kind of makes the, the tone like an octave higher and it just kind of makes for a really cool sound especially when you get into the higher strings so to me using an ebo is so easy that even somebody like my wife who doesn't know how to play guitar and probably doesn't even know what an ebo is can probably use it right it is me, Danny. You asked for it and we're delivering. So yes, more Danny. Look, I'm wearing a dinosaur for Danny Soros. You know, go follow me if you wanna see me more. This is an Eva. Wow. That's every time you say it, I think. What? What do you mean? A uh, what? How are you saying that? Eva. Eva. <laughs> it's supposed to be Eve, but Wally says Eva. Wait, wait. What are you saying? It's Eva. A, it's a E. Bow. E bow. You say it so fast, I never even caught it. Anyway, this is one of my favorite guitars. I'm just gonna mention it because it's a Les Paul. And sometimes in my life, I need a little bit Les Paul. Am I right, Paul? Sounds great, I endorse. Touch it. Play. Play La Bamba. It's not doing it. I feel like Slash. Like that? how easy an Evo is to play on a guitar. Thank you for allowing me to come into this video. Bye. So as you see, this is just a really cool little gadget to have if you're a guitar player. Let's see what happens if we use a bass. Ooh, six string bass. Coffee. Now let's see what this does. Low setting. Harder to fit it in between the strings. Try it on the high string. Nothing. Well, that was a disappointment. Let's try the higher setting. Come on, bass. Well, I guess it doesn't work on a bass. I guess I'm gonna have to stick to picking fast like I was telling you guys in the beginning on bass. I wonder if I could do that with my fingers. No 
away. And although I can play bass, I am not a bass player. Some people can play drums. I can play drums, but that doesn't make me a drummer. My instrument of choice is the guitar. This is the instrument that I feel that God blessed me with the ability to play. So with that, hopefully you guys learned something about an Ebo. Go to American Musical, one of the best places to get musical equipment ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. You will see us soon. Bye.